Okay, we are alive. The password looks good, so let's get started. And it puts you back on the basic fruit again. And it turns off the torch every time you start. And three health. Oh. Anyway. Welcome back. This is Aerophelon playing Spiritual Warfare, a Christian knockoff of The Legend of Zelda. Where for some reason we need a lot of money, or the equivalent, to pay off angels to get the stuff we need. It's strangely capitalistic, or perhaps not so strange considering the source. Alright, so... Last time we found a lot of angels wanting a lot of money for a lot of things, mostly Samson's jawbone over in the shipyard, which was to the west somewhere. Uh, there's some locked doors, there's the beach. But yeah, we also stumbled across the woods, so let's explore this before worrying too much about trying to farm up money. Is that a path here? No, it's just a... Okay. We need something like 200 for the... Those demonic bears. Yeah, they're just bears that can't fight. And yeah, starting at 3 health was not helpful. But at least death is a slap on the wrist. But it's weird. What's the point of having all these heart containers if you can't use them? Anyway. Now oh, you can blow up the lumberjacks. It seems we're getting to the part of the game where standard weapons just aren't good enough anymore. And another locked door. There has to be more keys somewhere. There's some health. Much needed. So that's in the northeast forest. Hmm. YouTube says it's not getting enough video to maintain a smooth stream, but it looks fine on the preview. And I don't know how to do anything about that, so we'll just keep playing. Oh, there's an angel, which will give a quiz, which will get some more faith and hearts, so that's good. But... Okay, it wasn't that one. You think I would know this, especially after seeing the question so many times. Just I'll set you free. Moses. Well, that does help with the currency situation anyway. Pomegranates as they go through obstacles, so I'm not sure why they weren't there. Maybe they hit the edge of the screen. It's probably that, which is frankly poor design. But consider the source. Okay, you can't blow up those bushes. You can cross these. Because of the boots. Yep, there's a secret thing. And you can push that. That apparently goes back to the houses. Here's an apple. But it costs money and I don't have enough money to begin with. Yeah, whatever. That's all the apples. 
which represents patience appropriately. Uh, with four, they're almost usable. That's interesting. Takes you back to the beginning of the houses. Yeah, I still don't like apples. I think the way the game is designed is if you continue in a whatever area, it takes you to the what it considers the main entrance to that area. Yeah, there was something in here at one point. Okay, apparently you're supposed to have the helmet to go that way. Which I guess the helmet protects you from the dynamite. Oh, let's try and farm up some doves. There was the church over here. Does this heal you? I feel like it probably doesn't, but maybe. Uh, yeah, I know that. Okay, it does heal you. So it is good for something besides just clues. And this was a shortcut to something. I'm not sure I ever went through here because I didn't have the boots before. Prison. Okay, and the prisoners take multiple shots because, of course, they do. And we're fighting the guards also because, of course, we are. Everyone is the enemy. Right, let's try the grapes now that there's more of them. It's probably a, generally speaking, an upgrade from the pomegranate. They scatter. So you get more of a fan, you also get more of a distance. And the unstoppable dogs of doom. Okay, so you can also get there from the slums with the boots. But yeah, you can't fight the dogs. Is there anything else outside the barbed wire? Let's find out. Looks like not. So, demonic dogs, you can't hurt them. Yeah, one shot will stun them and make them change color, second shot takes them out. And you can't go past here. I should probably check to see if the keys earlier respawn. Because I know the Vials of Wrath do. You can get into the prison from here. The actual prison building. That apparently is just decoration. Okay, that can be blown up. And there's just casually demons hanging out here. Okay, that hurts you. Which I should have expected. there. Can blow up more of that, so that's helpful. Guess I can get over here. I don't 
know that I can get to the stairs. What's in the other... Okay, that was outside. That's just another entrance. And so is that. That looks like it should go somewhere, but it doesn't. Same with that. I guess these are supposed to be cells, somehow. There's a tenor, that's nice. And looks like a maze. Alright, we came to the top right. Top left goes to here. Can you get to those bottom stairs or the the ones over to the left. Uh, I think if you come through here, push this over, if I can get to there and push the one left. But it's a question of how you do that. That doesn't help. Okay, push that right, push that, then then I'm stuck, so that didn't work. And it might not even go anywhere. Okay, so I haven't checked the bottom one or the right, and those go to each other. So it looks like the only place this goes is to that one room. Quite sure what to do there. There's the angel floating around like some kind of derpy fairy. Uh, every creature. This may be the best way to get, well, functionally, it's money. I could also get in the main prison building to the right back there. Take a quick look in there. Get bullied by the dog. Yeah, I wonder if the angels just show up every certain number of kills. 
mustard seed. Centurion. Centurion is noteworthy because he wasn't one of the in crowd. And the bow tie spin. I'm getting kind of close to that 200. Here's the roof. Is the angel going to drift down this way, or are you stuck up in the ceiling forever? Gradually, but yes. and not merely hearers. Okay, I have just about enough for that jawbone now. This looks impassable, but... Maybe I can pull up some of the stuff. This would be too easy, wouldn't it? Yeah. There's a door. Alright, fine. Every time I get enough for the jawbone, more angels show up and want more money. Oh, anyway. Anyway, that's more health. What happened to the music, though? Okay, pausing restarted it. Now it's two bananas. You have to rebomb this. But knowing the path makes it easier. Almost feels like they're trying to say something with there being no meaningful distinction between the prisoners and the guards, but it also feels like that kind of commentary is a little beyond what they're going for. Apparently that's everything in there. Just pump them four through. And this will get us back to the housing area. Oh, I guess you can't push blocks onto rubble.
come here for the healing. He'll tell me about the jawbone again, yeah. Sounds like jawbone is supposed to be your next major piece of progression. Okay, more questions. I don't think so. Pretty sure the whole Armor of God metaphor was only in one of Paul's letters. Money's slowly grinding back up. I'm trying to remember where I found keys before. I think there was one in the downtown area. There is a lot of downtown, so... Let's just look for open doors and try everything. This room is empty. I'm making a pretty decent profit again, so... This money's not that hard to come by. It just feels like when the game keeps demanding lots of it. Yeah, this key is definitely... I've definitely gotten this key before. So I guess they do respawn. Which may mean there aren't enough keys in the game to unlock everything until they respawn. Which is... A choice. Not one I would have made, but... I guess it makes it so you can't get softlocked. Here comes another angel. Some more quizzes. God. A grand thirst for righteousness. Yeah, that's one of the Basically, the ignorance of the law is no excuse of Christian circles. Is there a key on the plane? There was a plane back here you could go on, wasn't there? Here's a key. Which I definitely got earlier, so again, they do come back. So if you can just remember where they are, you can stock up. However long it takes things to respawn. Probably you need to go a certain number of screens away.
it takes a little more effort than I would expect to actually go across the screen transition. If we keep going down this way, this sh should go back to the shipyard. Yeah, I think it was through here. No, this goes to the hotels, and then the hotels go to the shipyard, right? And the hotels are really more the casino district. Yep, shipyard is here. Was it up this way? Might have been. Yeah, I think it was through here and behind a locked door, which should stay unlocked. The door did say unlocked, at least. I'm just not entirely sure this is the right door. Would probably help to have made a map. Ah, yes, this is it. 195. And your maximum carrying capacity is 255. Can pick up prices. It's basically a boomerang. And you cannot throw it diagonally. But it does go the full width of the screen, and it does not care about obstacles, so... That's something. I wonder if it affects dogs. It doesn't seem to affect demons. I think there was another, um, yeah, section of this down here I didn't explore. Right, through here. Now, dogs do not care about it. You just stuck in the corners. And, yeah, take the hit there. I think here you can block them in. Oh, not like that. That just made it worse. Like that. Oh, that poor music. Get past the last two without too much trouble. And here's a staircase, which goes underground, of course. And these odd balls who shoot balloons and bullets. here. Now it doesn't angle far enough down. But from here. I got both of them. And they should stay eliminated. Doves don't stay, unfortunately. Alright, that comes out over here, of course.
That was the end of the train tracks up there. And here's the docks railroad. I still don't have a ticket. It doesn't even bring it back to you, it just gets collected immediately. So it's sort of like a boomerang, but makes even less sense. I think I've seen this before. But it looks like it's one way from the other side. Yeah, because it's like the train tracks, there's no way you're going to be able to push the blocks into the path and be able to get onto the path. So that was kind of a waste. It's probably a shortcut from something else, like maybe the park. Which I do need to get back to for the... Oh, here's another key. I somehow got hurt by that. Well, we're up to three keys now, so that should be enough for at least a while. And I think there was a locked door around here somewhere, too. Yeah, here it is. Okay, you can just boomerang it. There might be a secret passage there somewhere, but if you can just throw this and have it work, that's much easier. Yeah, does it affect the voice? Try it from here. Looks like no. Alright, so I need to get back to the park to get the raft. And this is not going to do it. Was there a way around the outside up there? I, I feel like there must have been. At least this is helping me farm back some money. Maybe over this way. This feels like it'll wrap around the outside of the area. Cheer. Hmm. 
And this is... What was this? Alright, this is where the jawbone was. So, no need to go back in there. Okay, back to the hotels. Back through the... Warehouses, I think. I should be able to pick up the key in the airport again on the way. And downtown. They just vanish when they're expired. They don't even blink or anything. Alright, through the airport. That is convenient. I don't know if those are supposed to be airport security or what. These guys feel like security. Okay, three keys should be plenty for a while. Okay, back to downtown. This key should be back, too. can just chuck the job button to collect it. That's kind of nice. Maybe a little too convenient. But I'm not complaining. Right, this will clear the barriers because they're just temporary. Okay, nothing in there. Grapes are definitely helping. Yeah, Jawbone appears to be only for collecting items. It doesn't interact with anyone. Just a basic shop. Alright, park. And it looks like you cannot shoot through blocks while they're moving, which is the exact opposite of how blocks in the Link to the Past work. was somewhere down here.
Yeah, there it is. And it's just collected unceremoniously. Yes, I did that already. I guess you don't have to select it, it's just automatic. That's... Yeah. Jesus quoted scripture all the time. Probably? Quite possibly all of those. Let's say Deuteronomy. Add the bow tie. Money situation is looking good again. I think there was a spot around here you could get into the water. Let's see if that raft is usable here. Yep. Let me just switch back to the palms. Just the crosses uh, to those who are. Saved. Oh, here the. Honestly, probably all of them, but there's a specific reference to this somewhere. Let's say Corinthians. Okay, that was right. This could go either way, and it might even depend on your translation. Do I have to do this? Okay. Seems you do need to manually activate it. And it's just weird. But this seems to be going somewhere. Oh, we're at the beach. Right, you cannot push the rocks from the raft. I'm guessing there's probably something you can get to from here. It says we're right on the edge of the world. Yeah, you can't go out there. Oh, this is safer than going through the bodybuilders that need to be blown up anyway. looks important, or at least meaningful. I'm just kind of carrying the raft around now. It's a bit silly. Oh, there's a staircase. Is this a boss? It says it's a boss room. need to do. Oh, there's a... Uh, okay. Probably bomb these. No. You just get past them. Let's give that another try. Is 
weird. Somewhere around here. Oh, they can drop barrels on you. Okay. Oh, and he moved. And bombs don't seem to affect these guys. Looks like your best bet is probably to get in these and try to blow him up when he comes past. Okay, that opened the door. The Sword of the Spirit will help you defeat demons in the Stronghold. Wherever and whatever that is. Yes. You throw it and it explodes. So basically sword beams are better. If more confusing. Yeah, probably no point to this. But I did blow up some trees. Uh yeah. This game just makes less and less sense. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop it here for today, so... Yeah, until next time, this has been Arafone playing Spiritual Warfare, and it looks like that's all the B items. We do still have two more armors to get. There should be the helmet, which I think uh, protects you against explosions, and... So you have the belt, the breastplate, the boots... Gloves, maybe? Anyway, we'll find out later. For now, yep, enjoy your weekend. Yeah. Try not to be the kind of Christian that runs around causing crimes of mass, whatever. <laughs>